Hello and welcome to free internship for mechanical engineers. Press tool design with Katia V5. In this video lesson, I am going to explain the step 2 of the design procedure that is concept design. As I had mentioned in the previous video, the step 2 of the design procedure is to design the strip layout. Designing a strip layout is a six step procedure. In this video, I am going to explain this six step procedure. Let's get started. What is a strip layout? In simple words, strip layout is a drawing which depicts the sequence of operations to manufacture the part. What you are seeing on the screen is the strip layout drawing for the power screw support bracket of a car scissor jack. As I had mentioned earlier, the strip layout design is a six step procedure. Step one is to check if the material is available. Step two is to calculate the punch and the die dimensions. Step three is to calculate the bridge dimensions. Step four is to calculate the pitch dimension. Step five is to calculate the utilization. Step six is to complete the strip layout design. Let me explain each step in detail. Step 1. Check the material availability. As I had mentioned in the previous video, during the concept design, we understood the part requirements. Part requirements like the material, material thickness, burr side and grain direction. During this step, we are going to check if this material is available in the market. Step 2 is to calculate the punch and the die dimensions. I am sure you remember the shearing happens between the cutting edge of the punch and the cutting edge of the die. And a cutting clearance is very essential for the shearing to happen. So, in this stage, we are going to calculate the punch dimensions, cutting clearance dimensions and the die opening dimensions. Step 3 is to calculate the bridge dimensions. I am sure you remember that extra raw material is essential all around the punch for the shearing to happen. This extra raw material all around the punch is referred to as the bridge. We need to calculate the dimension of this bridge in this step. Step 4 is to calculate the pitch dimensions. I am sure all of you are aware that the raw material strip has to be moved forward after each and every shearing operation. The amount by which the raw material has to be moved forward is pitch. We will calculate the pitch dimensions in this step. In step 5, we are going to calculate the material utilization. Material utilization is nothing but the amount of raw material used to make the actual components. The remaining material is scrap. The objective is to minimize the scrap. Step 6 is to finalize and complete the strip layout drawing. You can use any CAD software to create a strip layout drawing. In this course, I will be teaching you to create the strip layout drawing using Katia V5. That's all in this video lesson. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the discussion forum. If you are watching this video on YouTube, do comment your questions. Thanks.